Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome back to RuneScape for Dummies. Today we're going to be going through how to solo Dagonoff Rex and also Dagonoff Prime. About a year and a half ago I did make a guide on how to um, solo Dagonoff Rex, but today we're going to be throwing Prime into the mix as well on how to say spot, what gear we're going to be taking, how to get there and... Uh, also, I guess kind of what levels to go with as well. So for the Dagonov Kings, there's not really that high tier armor that you need. I've seen a few guides in the past that have been using maxed out gear and it's it's really not necessary. They're, 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 they are rather an easy boss to uh, go and do. The only main kind of pain point is actually getting down to the safe spots. But um, yeah... Don't don't be don't 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 find it daunting the fact that I've got a Fury on, I've got a Toxic Trident or Brimstone boots or whatever. You can do it in some real scuff gear, and we're gonna go through that right now. So, like I said, weapon-wise for the mage side, I do have a Trident of the Swamp. Back in my old guide, I was using an Iban Staff, using Iban's Blast. That was more than enough to be able to defeat Dagonoff Rex. Um, very vulnerable to magic. Iban's is more than enough. Um, to get, you know, at least a good few kills a trip. Um, so don't fret if you haven't got yourself a trident yet. If you are an Iron Man or a lower level player, you can use the, uh, you can use the Ibans. So let's move over to the um, top and bottoms that we have here. So we are going to be using a range switch to fight Prime. So Rex uh, is damaged by magic and Prime is damaged by range. That's what they're both weak to. So we are going to be taking a uh, weapon switch, but to maximize the amount of prayer pot, not prayer pot, sorry, food that we can take, um, I tend to not worry about having too many switches. So we just can have a, pardon me, a weapon switch. So with that being said, we've got Carol's top, which is kind of a tanky top, um, because we do need to have a range body for the accumulator to work. If you were to bring, in my last guide, for example, we were using the um, Darek's plate body. If you were using that, the accumulator won't work and it won't start gathering your arrows or bolts. So we've got ourselves our best in slot range top at the moment, which is my Carol's top. Uh, you could use a um, dehyde body top as well, or an ancient dehyde body. Uh, that's more than enough. Probably a black dehyde is where you want to, you know, aim for if you are lower level. Um, but like I said, not going to be taking loads of damage. We are going to be praying against um prime so uh yeah it's not too not not don't don't worry don't worry so now we're coming down onto the legs any tank legs really will do the job i've been down there before in just room plate legs and uh didn't have any bother but uh if you have got a nice pair of darox plate legs torex plate legs or like i've got here a varex plate skirt that will do you great and uh, it will um, it will really counter out the uh, damage that the spinners are going to be doing when uh, when you're down there. We now come onto the booty boys, and we've got ourselves a pair of brimstone boots on. That's because they give a good magic and also um, range attack bonus. I think it is. Yeah. Um, don't worry if you haven't got a pair of brimstone boots. I know if you are an Iron Man or low level, they are quite hard to come by. Um, before I've been using Mystics, and they work perfectly. Uh, you could bring a switch for boots. I always think it's a bit of a waste of time bringing a boot switch of like dehyde boots or um, what else you got? I guess rangers if you've managed to get yourself a pair of rangers. Um, but yeah, wouldn't worry too much. Mystics will do the job. Um, but yeah, brimstones are a very nice set of uh, set of trainers to have on your feet, mate. Now let's move up quickly to the amulet. I have got an amulet of fury on. Amulet of power will do the job. Amulet of Glory will do the job as well. It's not too too much to worry about. Um, in my last guide, I was doing it. Now's not the time, Mysterious Old Man. I was doing it before an Amulet of Power. That was more than enough. Um, but yeah, if you do have anything higher or a Fury, happy days. Happy days. Now let's move down to the gloves. Barrow's gloves. Whatever your best in slot gloves are, really. Um, or you've got Van Braces as well. Um, that that will that will do the job. Uh, and then we've got the ring as well. You might think, oh my God, he's got a ring of suffering. Don't worry. Um, I've only got that there to, uh, I guess, flick onto the uh, <laughs> onto the healers and also for the uh, tank bonus that you get from it. Not the healers, sorry, the spinners. Uh, and also the uh, defense bonus that you get from it. But um, you could use something like, I, I mean, when I was going on my hardcore, I was taking a ring of life. And uh, after that, I was taking a um, Explorer's Ring 2 because it gives you a plus one prayer bonus. And also you can replenish your run with it as well. Um, so if you do have that, whatever your best in slot ring is, to be honest, the um, the kind of side stuff like gloves, rings, amulets, it's not nothing really to be worrying about. Now we come to our shield slot. I've got a book of balance because it gives a attack bonus for magic and also range. Um, if you've got I, I used to take a tank shield like the uh, crystal shield, 
Um, a rune kite shield will even do the job, to be honest. So whatever your best in slot tank shield is, unless you have a book of balance or one of the other books that give positive uh, attack bonuses in magic and range. Then we come up to the bolts and we've got runite bolts, which we're going to be using on our rune crossbow. Um, whatever your best in slot crossbow is really, or you could bring an MSB. Um, that will do the job as well. Yeah, whatever your best in slot um, uh, range weapon is. I probably wouldn't go down to an adamant um, crossbow. I can't say I've tried one of those down there before. Um, but yeah, rune crossbow will do you good. It's quite accessible, real cheap. And uh, yeah, it's good stuff, good stuff. Now we come on to um, the helmet slot. So you might notice I haven't got a helmet on. So I, I do have a few options here, um, which will change how we do our setup as well. So when you're down there, the um, the spinners can uh, poison you. So it means that you need to take some anti-poisons or super anti-poisons or whatever you've got that you can counteract the, the poison from. So I normally take myself down a Serp Helm. I know, I understand that that is quite a expensive item or quite a hard to obtain item if you are on an Iron Man. And that's why I wanted to put in some alternates that we could use when we we're down there. Uh, instead of having to take pots, which means we can prioritize bringing more prayer pots and bringing more food uh, and also bringing down Alks and things like that. Um, so Serpentine Helm, if you've got one, fantastic. That's, you know... You're top of the class at the moment, mate. You're top of the class. Any tank helm is probably, is, well, is is your best bet if you haven't got a Serp helm. So before I was taking down a Torag's helm, um, which gave good tank bonus, but also with the Slayer helm as well, uh, I'd recommend if you have it imbued, if you are doing it on task, because you are going to get that um, attack bonus that you get from the helmet. Uh, and it's also, you know, I think it's the same stats as a rune full helm as well. Um, but yeah, tank helm or unless you have a Serp Helm, because it will extend your trips out a little bit, and that's what we're going to be using when we go down into the fights. Also, I don't think I actually said, I've got um, an Ava's uh, Assembler, whatever your highest accumulator is, because we are going to be needing to pick up all the bolts and arrows that we use while we're down there, just to save a bit of money on supplies. But uh, yeah, whatever your best in slot um, Ava's equipment is, bring that. Um, yeah. Okay, so before we go into any further, before I go through the inventory, don't look at that. There's uh, there's still something else that I need to add in there, but we'll get that um, along the way of getting to uh, the DKs. So there are a couple, well, there is one quest that you need to do to unlock the D uh, Dagon of Kings, which is the Fremi Trials, uh, which is quite a low level quest. So uh, it's one that you can definitely knock out if you are a lower level. Um, I'm also going to be using the Ancient Spellbook. So I am going to be needing the. Um, the desert treasure quest completed for that uh it's just an alternate way for us to get health back while we are on a, a trip at the dk's you could use uh, a guthans a full guthan set as well for the uh, healing bonus that you get from killing with that if we're gonna we're gonna kill the uh, spinners with them with the uh, if the blood spells or guthans um uh, equipment and it will give us some of our health back so we don't have to take as much food we can kind of prioritize taking prayer pots for when we are fighting um uh, Rex, not Rex, sorry, Prime. Um, but yeah, that's just uh, one thing that you can take, and I've got all of my runes in the uh, in a rune pouch as well. Because I am on my ancient spellbook, it does mean that I can't use my teleport to home, so I ha am taking some t uh, uh, teleport uh, to house tabs as well um, in my inventory. Another nicety that I do have is the Bone Crusher, which you get from the Mauritania Hard Diary being completed. It just means that it's going to bury the bones for me automatically. If you do want to take uh, uh, collect your bones and maybe sell them or uh, bank them and use them on like the Chaos Altar or something later down the line, um, you won't need that. But uh, Bone Crusher, just in in, in in regards to the whole of RuneScape, Bone Crusher is a fantastic tool to have. Um, so uh, if you don't know what that is, have a look into it. Uh, and if you do have it, bring it along. So that kind of checks off the quest and, I guess, uh, diary requirements for the setup that I'm using. Two of them are optional. One being the Fremenic Trials is mandatory to actually get there um, as well. But let's kind of get into the recommended stats for the, uh, uh, for the DKs. Um, no, it's, I'd say base 70s in defense, magic, and range is ideal. If you are using Ivan's Blast, for example, that's level 50. Uh, and then we are going to be praying range, which is level 40 um, uh, prayer that you need for that. I'm going to be using Eagle Eye. I'm not going to use Mystic Might, but I'm going to use Eagle Eye now and then when I am doing the uh, 
doing the prime fights, so 44 prayer as well. But obviously, the more prayer you have, the longer you can stay there because it doesn't deplete as fast, um, or you don't hit zero as fast, I should say. Um, but here are my stats. I know they are quite on the high level side, but when I was doing, um, when I started doing Dagonoff Rex, um, I was level, I think I was level 70 in magic and defense. And then when I started doing prime, 70 uh, range would be fine as well you could you could get away with lower but those are the recommended stats of base 70s so we are currently over in relica or um yeah in the town of relica so what i've done is i've used i've got a house um portal in my well i've got a camelot portal in my house that i've teleported to camelot castle and then i've run just north and then west and then north again up to Relica. You can use a house portal teleport if you've moved your house to, house to uh, the Fremenic province. Um, or you could use a redirection spell on a house teleport. You could also use the fairy ring AJR or the um, DKS one as well. I think there's a charter ship somewhere that you can use. Um... I think there's a charge. There might not be. Anyway, ignore that. There's no charge ship. I'm chatting out my ass. Uh, but yeah, those are the, some teleports you can use. You'll see the CJR one as well, and then use the agility um, log balance thing. Uh, but best bet, I normally just run from Camelot because I've got a house portal. Um, but yeah, you've got a few options that you can use. But we're currently in Relica, and uh, we're now going to go over to the boat that we need to get to go over to where the... Uh, the DK boys are. Okay, so there are quite a few options of charter boats that, you, that, that, are, that are in Relica. Uh, the best one, well, not the best one, the one that we are going to be using is Water Birth. So we're going to go on the map, we're going to run round to um, this uh, ship here, which is the first one on the uh, furthest left um, dock or jetty, I guess. So we're going to run over there. And then we're going to travel to Water Birth Island. So that's going to do a little animation, take you over. It's the one that looks like a little sideways moon. Uh, and then we're going to run west. If I move my um, compass, I do apologise. Now a lot of people do have a go at me in the comments when I move my compass because uh, I do like making it looking true to what way I'm going. But we're going to run round to the dungeon that's just over here. So we can see on the map here, just on the furthest west side. All right. I'm going to turn off my auto retaliate as well. Um, I'm currently facing west. There is a new feature on here where you can change what look directions. You can look north, look east. Right, we're now going east. And we're going to go a little bit northeast over to a little door that's over there. You can pray um, melee here because it will stop these things doing damage on you. But uh, it's not really worth it because we're in tank gear. So we're going to step on one of these pressure plates. We're then going to drop our pet rock on one. We're then going to stand on the other pressure plate and then we're going to open the door. Now through here, I'm going to pray melee. You saw that one just hit me. So we are going to switch over to our rune throwing axe while we're running through here. And we're going to make sure to select our special attack as well. You can do that via the uh, little special attack bar here. So we're going to run around to the... Uh, so there's north, east, southeast. And there's a little door here. So we're going to walk up to it. Do not click this one here because it will mess it up. And then we're going to click on the left-hand one, which if we're facing north, is the west one. So we're going to aim at that, fire. It's now going to do a little spec, bounce all around. And then we're going to climb down the iron ladder. When we go down here, we're going to be praying mage. The uh, little walrus-looking things uh, attack you with mage. And the, uh, the other things will use range. So as we're coming through here, as soon as we drop down the ladder, we're going to want to switch to range. So the little Dagonoff minion things uh, do use range. Uh, they also use melee as well, so be careful for that. And that's why we've got our sharks with us. So when we climb up the ladder, we're going to want to uh, stay on range. Uh, these use melee if you want to pray against them, but they're like Anamite crabs or, yeah, giant rock crabs, which don't do a lot of damage. But we're going to need to keep on the protect from range as we come down here because there are more uh, Dagonoffs. I'm going to take a sip of my stamina pot. We're then going to drop down this ladder that is west. And then down here, we need to quickly switch to mage as well. So now we use the southern ladder. It's still mage up here as well. Come down, come down the ladder. Down here is mage again. So stay on mage um, protection. Come down the ladder that's uh, south. Switch to range as we go up as well. Because I think the next bit is range as, as well. So we're now going to run uh, east. These little boulders again turn into giant rock crabs that can do melee damage. We're going to drop down the ladder. 
pray in range where we got some more Dagonoffs. I'm going to run east. I'm going to take another sip of my stamina. And then we're going to go to the northern ladder that's in there as well. And when we get up here, we want to pray right, uh, still pray range, sorry. Go north, drop down the ladder again. It's a lot up, down, up, down, up, down. As we drop down, we want to stay pray in range. Again, careful for the melee attacks. And then we're going to run east. Follow it round. And drop down the ladder. As we drop down, we are going to want to pray mage. Oh no, sorry, melee. These crabs can hit. <laughs> it's uh, round here that we want to switch over to magic. Okay, as we drop down past kind of these rocks here, we want to switch to magic. Because there are some creepy crawlies that can hit you down here. Uh, but again, again, it is a multi-area. Everything's frying all sorts of shit. Yeah, so you can get hit by range, melee, and also uh, magic. So you can see here I've got a little marker. If we run around here, you've got a little bit of a breathing room. So you can climb over these roots and step into the safe spot where you can't be hit. So now that we're here, so while we're here, uh, there's a couple of things we need to talk about. This ladder here is where we drop down to the kings. We've got the standard ladder and we've also got the slayer ladder. So the standard one, uh, you can do any time you like. Uh, that's probably one of the ones that gets busier because obviously you don't need to be on task. With Slayer, the Slayer King's Ladder, you do need to be on task. Um, you're most likely, more likely to get a, um, uh, a free world with a Slayer one. But what we can do is also peek this crack that's just next to the safe spot. You may want to mark this tile as well. If you hold Shift and then right click, you can mark your tile. Just a good thing to have on the map. It's a good waypoint to look for. We can see that in the standard cave we currently have two adventurers. And in the Slayer one we currently have one adventurer. So it does mean we're going to have to hot world. Okay, so once you've found your world where no one's in, any of them. Uh, we can see the Slayer cave has no one in. So we are going to go into that one. Um, as we walk down, we are going to want to pray mage. Now this is the tricky bit, okay. This is the worst part. Actually, I'm going to turn it off not to waste any prayer. Um, this is probably one of the worst bits of getting down there, right? Um, you're going to have to keep hopping up and down the ladder until, um, uh, what's the other one? Supreme isn't, uh, within shooting distance. It can't hit you. Otherwise you're going to aggro it and it's going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, we're going to have to keep going up and down, up and down until Supreme has buggered off and isn't going to hit us. The benefit of being able to do Rex and Prime on the same task is it means that even if, if Supreme's over to the left, cool, we go around to the right. And we start doing Rex first. If Supreme's over to the right, we go around the left, we start doing Prime first. You'll see it when we go down, but um, prepare for uh, to take some damage. Prepare for it to be a pain in the ass. Uh, in some cases... Oh, no, it's, that's going to start hitting me. Piss off. Um, in some cases, prepare for you to have to go and rebank because you've run out of food just trying to get down there. Happened to me a lot. It happens to everyone. Don't worry. Um, it, it, it's just part of... the bloody process of getting down to the safe spots but that being said let's get into it okay so once we've found a world that has no adventurers in we're gonna need to do the up down up down up down method before we get um prime and supreme into the right positions so we're gonna want to get supreme not hitting us uh, and get round either the right hand side or the left hand side depending on where they are positioned so just whack on protect from mage jump over that route and let's get gaming. So we're going to click down on that. I'm going to close chat as well because it just takes up so much of the screen, doesn't it? So drop down. Okay, we can see that uh, Supreme is hitting us, so we need to go up. So now, I'm going to drop down again. No, it's still within aggro range. Drop down again. It's even closer. If you do need to, you can go back into the safe spot and just, you know, let things kind of mill out. Let things chill. Let's take a sip of my prayer pot. Let's pop down. Okay. Prime is really close. <laughs> so close to the ladder. Okay. Very close. Okay. Cool. So, it looks like we're not going to get tagged. It's fine if Supreme tags us, or Prime, sorry, uh, tags us. Um, as well. So once we get over here, I'm going to quickly kill Prime just to uh, switch to long range. Tag Prime. If I come all the way down here, so you see where they're all the way standing over there. If I walk down here to this spot here, 
Prime should now get dragged down just a little bit. There we go. We can see it's been dragged down a little bit to around where its spawn point is, which is what we want. So we can start now attacking Prime. I know that was very quick. I do apologize for that. But um, so the the uh, the uh, um, safe spots here that we have, this kind of line here, this invisible line here, is where we can stand, where we're safe to uh, attack Prime. Rex won't come over this far. Supreme stays kind of just past Prime spawn, which is what we want, really, at the end of the day. Uh, we don't want Supreme getting involved because it can be uh, a bit of a pain in the arse. A bit of a pain in the arse. Um, you can see I'm taking a bit of damage. That's fine. We can uh, start tagging the uh, um, spinny boys with um, some of the blood spells as well, or if you've got food. I just happen to use up a lot of my food trying to get down here, which is, uh, you know, fantastic when you're trying to make a guide. Really great. You know, cheers, boys. You really are helping me out here. Uh, <laughs> um, so once we've killed Prime, I will then get into how we're going to tag Rex. Rex does have a little bit more of a mishmash of a spawn. That's why you've got kind of a bigger grid. Uh, Prime normally spawns on that spot, maybe give or take a tile left or right. Uh, as well so true north as well that's kind of where we're standing for all those who like looking north um gonna take a sip of my prayer pot and this should be prime defeated bum 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 um it is a little bit awkward to uh get uh the loot from prime sometimes um if you aren't bringing ancients it means that you can use telegrab which uh is a bit of a savior um so there we go there's prime defeated fremlic blade dagonoff hide We've got our prayer XP from the bones. Okay, so once you've defeated old uh, Prime, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to run across. We can turn off our prayer, which is rather nice. We're going to go to the spot here, number one, and we're going to tag Mr. Rex. So we're going to hit Rex with an attack, click him back. As he starts walking over, we're going to run over to this uh, tile over here, mark number two. And when he starts to get close, we're going to click over and run over to number three. So Rex is now going to get caught in this kind of L shape here. And then we can just start attacking. Uh, what is kind of nice if you do bring blood spells is that you can then use Rex to get your health back up if you are starting to take a little bit of damage. Um, so you can use him as your food source, uh, which is a little bit, I get not cannibal, I guess, because I'm not a Dagonoff. Uh, <laughs> I am person. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we can use our blood spells on Rex to uh, gather back some health. Um, which is really nice. You can see now I'm back up to full HP. We can start damaging with the Trident. So that's really all there is to it. Um, whatever side that you come round when you're dropping down the ladder and you manage to not tag or aggro Supreme is the one that you're going to start with. So uh, if we were to come round this left-hand side here, you can see where my cursor's uh, marked. So if we're north, uh, if we come round the, I guess, I mean, south side, uh, we're doing Rex first. If we come round the north side, we're going to be doing um, Prime first. Uh, and now we can see that we've got one second left for Prime to come back. We can run over, whack on our prayers, so we can meet him for the uh, for the spawn as well. So we can now tag Prime, run back to our safe spot if we do need to. Like I said, you can come back down to this number two marks tile. It'll, it'll drag, it'll drag Prime down a little bit, and then we can run back over to this one spot here, and uh, we can start gaming again. If you do need to, and it is not playing ball and not coming over a little bit further, uh, coming coming a little bit closer, you can switch to long range, and uh, you can uh, catch it with the attacks and not leave the safe spot. So that's really all there is to it. It's it's not the most complex thing to do. It is a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes. Um, I would recommend doing it on task as well, just because it makes it a bit more worth your time. Uh, and the uh, the drops that you get from the lads are pretty good, with the berserker ring being a massive upgrade uh, in the ring slot for melee. Uh, the Seer's Ring that you get from Prime isn't the best. Um, the reason why you might do only two of the of the um, of the DKs is, for example, I don't have a blowpipe, which means I can't kill Prime quick enough to then go and melee Supreme with the, with uh, Rex not getting back in time as well. So it's kind of like a meeting in the middle. Uh, finding your bearings with these two before you do go on to take it on all three. So uh, I hope you guys have found this video useful. If you have, drop a like. Let me know down in the comments how you're getting on. Let me know your KCs of what you get on your rings as well. Or oh, growing with Renarweed. Uh, let me know um, what KCs you get your rings, what ones you're going for, uh, what your goals are for your account as well. And if you do want to do the old, uh, the old uh, smithy uh, comment of Egg Army, drop that down in the comments as well. Also, a shout out to our channel members of when it loads. 
uh, Damo, Will, Super Beef, and Steve as well. Anyone over a tier one on the uh, on the uh, jo- uh, membership program gets a shout out at the end of videos. So if you are interested in that, hit the join button down below and it will give you all the information. But if not, a uh, subscription is much appreciated. It will let you know of when all, when I post any of the other content I uh, produce on the channel. So uh, you can be notified of that. And yeah, uh, you can, you know, come join our community Discord. I post a lot of resources on there as well. I might even put the... Uh, the tile markers that you can see, you can export those on RuneLite. So I might even put those on the uh, on the Discord so you can copy and paste them into your RuneLite, which uh, makes things a little bit easier. But um, yeah, that being said, I'm going to stop rambling, let you guys go, and uh, yeah, stay safe. Bye!